Those nine little kids who were hit by a car in front of their school yesterday. That car was driven by a grandmother. 10 News reporter Emily Thode went to Rady Children's Hospital and she talked to a dad whose child was hit. A nightmare scene at Del Mar Heights Elementary. All these kids are running and it hits this kid, these kids. Um, one was run over. A dented car on the sidewalk, crushed strollers, an empty baby seat on the cement. Jacob and Daisy Chen saw the whole thing. This happened so suddenly. Police say a 70 year old grandmother driving this silver Honda, picking up her grandchildren, backed into another car, panicked, hit the gas, and drove forward. Apparently, the car hit an area where I think the kindergartners. Lined up. She hit nine children between the ages of 11 months and nine years, and one adult. The thing is, yeah, there was a baby on the ground, and this kid was under uh, the tire, the right tire. One of the teachers had the peace of mind to quickly jump into the car and reverse the car because the kid was pinned. I cried. My sister cried. The father of the nine-year-old boy hit told me he was terrified when he saw his son being treated by paramedics at the scene. But as it turns out, the boy only has cuts and bruises. A lot of kids were crying and very upset. So, a uh, pretty, pretty unpleasant scene and pretty tough thing for the kids. Amazingly, the worst injury a five year old boy has a broken femur. We just have never seen anything like that before. Emily Thode, 10 News. Wow, we are so glad that that uh, didn't turn out worse. Three of the children hit are from one family. That elderly woman, she wasn't arrested. Police are still investigating. A San Diego fishing crew is heading home this morning after their boat sank in the middle of the ocean. And the Coast Guard says Captain Keith Dinette, his crew and his boat Maximus sank 350 miles south of San Diego. A tugboat heading to the California Science Center in L.A. was their unlikely rescuers. The tugboat was towing a 154-foot space shuttle external tank behind it when they rescued the men. It's kind of like one of your own, and it's, it's cause for concern. Concern is always alleviated when you find out that everybody's okay. Communication is spotty, but the tugboat will get to San Diego on Sunday and drop their unplanned passengers off. You have got to see this. It's a prom night. These kids are never going to forget. A group of Massachusetts high schoolers, well, they were on their way to prom when this happened. Their limo burst into flames. Ten teens were sitting inside when this limo really just erupted. Moments later, the smoke there turned into fire. The driver pulled over the teens. They scrambled to get out. Um, it was actually kind of scary. It started to get like really big, like it, and it looked like it was gonna like explode. Oh, can you imagine? On a happy note, the teens were picked up by another group of friends on a party bus, and they made it to the dance, and they looked fantastic in that picture. With prom season around the corner here in San Diego, we have some recommendations for you to avoid this. If your child or someone you know will be renting a limo, make sure the limo driver does not pack the car with more people than it's supposed to hold. Also, call ahead of the time, call ahead of time to check the driver's history and check out the car's history as well. Ask lots of questions. Yeah, and don't